What's up everyone, this is a quick video on how to assemble a MK3 extruder head for a 3D printer. This is the final result. Before we begin, like, share, and subscribe. To start, you're going to need the extruder body, this film and sensor lever, as well as this uh, adapter. These are some of the additional components required for the build. Links in the description. For this part, we're going to insert the M3 nuts into the extruder body assembly. They go over here, 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 and here. Uh, you can use a small hammer and a screwdriver to push the screws in, for example, like this. It should just about look like this. Next, take a M3 by 18 screw and attach the foam and sensor lever to the, the extruder body. Tighten it, but ensure that the lever can move smoothly. After using a drill bit, it uh, moves pretty freely. You would want the lever to repel. So orient the magnets so the levers repel. Next, insert the ball into the adapter and install the adapter onto the the extruder body. Next, we will need an extruder motor plate, an extruder motor, and uh, two M3 by 10 screws. You will also need a Bontec gear set. Uh, take the motor, make sure the wire is oriented in this direction, and uh, use the two M3 screws, M3 by 10 screws to screw it down. Next we will install the uh, Bantec gear. This is the gear with the set screw in it. Uh, first, you align the shaft so the flat part is uh, facing this direction. And then you slide the Bontec gear onto the shaft. Uh, before you tighten the set screw, you need to take a piece of filament uh, to make sure that you, it is um, properly aligned. And then finally, you would uh, tighten down the gear. Next, we will uh, prepare the extruder cover by inserting a square nut in this uh, slot over here, all the way to the end. Next, we need uh, two M3 by 10 screws here and here, and M3 by 40. We also need a hot end. Rotate the hot end so it looks like this. Should be pointing in this direction. Next, we place the extruder assembly on top of the extruder body. And we place the other half of the um, extruder cover. And then we use the uh, M3 by 40 screws.
Next part is the X carriage preparation. For this, we need four M3 square nuts and two M3 regular nuts and one IR sensor cable. And of course, the X carriage, which you see right here. We need to get these M3 nuts into here. It's recommended that you use a screw to pull these from the other side. Next, we install the four square nuts here, 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 and here. Uh, you may need to use pliers to get the last uh, nut in there. Some of these nuts are really tight. You know it's all the way aligned if you can see through the uh, the hole over here. Next we install the uh, filament sensor cable. The side with the clip goes towards the top. The wire goes right in the groove. Next we're going to take the X-carriage assembly and join it with the extruder. The thing that you got to watch out for is when you're tucking this cable into this groove over here, leave a little bit of slack in the, behind the extruder. You may tighten these screws a little bit, uh, but not all the way. We will adjust them later. For the next part, you're going to need a filament sensor, a M3 by 40 screw, and another M3, M2 by 8 screw. Place the filament sensor on the top of the extruder body and secure it with the M2 by 8 screw. Finish the sensor assembly by inserting the M3 by 40 screw into the extruder body uh, to get rid of the last gap that you see here. For the next part you're going to need a uh, extruder hot and fan and a 3 M3 by 14 screws. For the wiring on the fan you would need to ensure that the wiring is oriented in such a way that the wire gets tucked into the channel that you have on the extruder like that. Then basically take your screws and uh, you would need to fit them in three different spots, which are here, here, and here. Uh, for the next part, you're gonna need to have the extruder idler you're going to need to have a Bontech gear, uh, need two bearings and one shaft, a regular M3 nut and two M3 by 40 screws and uh, one idler spring that you see there. Insert the M3 nut into the idler. Next, we insert the shaft and the Bontech gear onto the uh, idler. Use this opportunity to check your filament alignment. Next, we put the extruder idler in place and uh, screw it down, but don't screw down too tightly. Thank you. 
Next, we take the other screw with the spring and uh, introduce slight tension on the idler assembly. Now you need to push the screw a little bit through in order for it to reach the, uh, the nut on the other side. Up next is the filament sensor cover as well as a M3 by 10 screw. Next is the uh, print fan support. For this you would need the uh, print fan support, a uh, M3 nut and a M3 by 10 screw. For the next part you're going to need a fan shroud, M3 by 20 screw and M3 square short nut. Next you're going to need to install this uh, square nut into the fan shroud. You use pliers to sort of get the, uh, the nut in there. It's not the easiest thing to do. Attach the fan shroud to the extruder body. Next we will install the print fan with two M3 by 20 screws as well as one M3 nut. And with the print fan installed, the extruder assembly is now complete.